God wants to light your fire. <laughs> we use the term on fire to describe someone who's doing amazingly well. I mean, so well, they're unable to be stopped. The Urban Dictionary lists a definition of on fire that describes it as a state of mind in which people believe that they're unstoppable and, and can do anything they want. And they do. Well, that's our topic for today, my friends. But first, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them to get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today lights your fire, <laughs> please like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Hey, today the church celebrates Pentecost. It's known as the birthday of the church. And like most birthdays, it comes with gifts. Let me tell you a bit about Pentecost and why it's important to you. See, God loves to give. And the three major celebrations of the church, Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost, are each focused around a specific gift of God. Now, Christmas focuses on the gift the Father gives and celebrates the birth of Christ. Easter focuses on the gift the Son gives and celebrates the forgiveness delivered by Christ's resurrection. Pentecost focuses on the gift the Holy Spirit gives and celebrates the power to win the world. Today's verse describes the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and says, tongues like flames of fire came to rest on each of them. Now, let me set the stage for this. You're going to love it. Pentecost was one of three feasts of the year where all male Jews returned to Jerusalem. It was a, a celebration of the wheat harvest and also came to be a commemoration of the giving of the law at Mount Sinai. Well, Jesus and his disciples had been up in Galilee after the resurrection, but came back to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast. But 10 days before the feast, Jesus took them to the Mount of Olives, ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. He said, John baptized with water, but you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now, and you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you'll be my witnesses. Then, as if to put a, an exclamation point on his promise of power, Jesus ascended to heaven right before their eyes. Well, they went back across the valley to the house where they were staying, and, well, they waited. And while they waited, they prayed. And when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in the house. And then suddenly, there came from heaven a, a sound like, like a mighty rushing wind. I mean, it was loud. So loud, in fact that it attracted people from all over the city. Maybe it was like the sound of hundreds of angels' wings. Who knows? If so, I'll bet that would sound like a massive hurricane or tornado. Maybe even hundreds of helicopters. Whatever it sounded like, it, it filled the city, but it filled the house where they were sitting. <laughs> it definitely had everyone's attention. And that's when it happened. From nowhere... Tongues of fire appeared and then split up and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Then they began to speak in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. God had lit their fire. So thousands of people from across the city had, had been gathered by the sound of the wind. And they came from at least... 15 different countries, all with their own languages. And we know that because the Bible actually lists them for us. And the reason that's important is because, now brace yourselves for this, they were astonished and bewildered because each one was hearing them speak in their own native language. Boy, I, 
I wish I had the time to tell you the whole story, but, but most of you only hang in on these talks for about five minutes, so I've really got to move quickly. The crowd is asking what's going on, and Peter stands up and tells them about the promise of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and how God wants to light their fire too. Well, when Peter's finished, many of those in the crowd were cut to the heart and said, what should we do? Well, Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, about 3,000 people responded, and the church was born. During one of his teachings, Jesus had said, I've come to cast fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. Well, <laughs> now it was. His baptism of fire had been poured out, and he was making his ministers a flaming fire. Tongues like flames of fire came to rest on each of them, and they used them. They continued to be his witnesses. Those who heard, repented, were baptized, and filled with the Spirit, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship and to celebrating communion together and to prayer. God had lit their fire, and the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Now that's a harvest. Do you want to know why you're here on earth? While you're still inhaling and exhaling, it's because God has a purpose for you and your life. He wants to light your fire and equip you to be one of his witnesses. And let me tell you, you don't want to miss it. His love is amazing. His gifts and power are incredible. And being who he called you to be is the most fulfilling thing you'll ever do. So let me invite you, just as Peter invited the crowd. Repent, be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And God will light your fire. <laughs> Can I ask you to help me spread the fire? Please like this video to help more people see it and let God light their fire. So follow or subscribe so you and I can get together every day. And then, if God's lit your fire, leave me a comment, ask me a question. I would love to interact with you. And one more thing, don't forget to share this with a friend. Because as you do, you're part of a team touching hearts with the love of Jesus all over the world. Let's light their fire, and thanks for helping.